Hello and welcome to Aviation File. Today we will be discussing airline alliances in the aviation industry. In almost all industries, different companies create alliances in order to grow together and become more successful. Such deals also exist in the aviation industry, especially between companies that provide commercial flights. These associations between aviation companies are called airline alliances. There are many airline alliances that help the companies that are involved to grow with their allies. However, out of these many alliances, three of them get the lion's share. In this video, we will be discussing these three airline alliances and learning more about them. So, what are airline alliances? Just like in any other industry, aviation companies usually look to grow as much as possible and become as successful as possible. While they can go about these goals on their own, there are many aviation companies that ally with others. So, different airline companies get together and make formal agreements. Then, they mostly benefit from a larger network and more opportunities. These associations are airline alliances and they are designed to help airline companies work together. In the aviation industry, three main airline alliances dominate the market. So, let's dive into these alliances and learn more about each of them. Star Alliance As an airline alliance with more than 20 years of history, this one is the largest one among all of them. Right now, Star Alliance has 26 full members and 40 affiliates that don't have voting rights yet. As of now, the alliance operates in 195 countries with more than 1,290 airports. Founded on the 14th of May 1997, the fleet of the alliance is made up over 5,000 aircraft. Latest statistics show that the passenger count of Star Alliance was around 762 million, so we can only expect it to be higher now. With its motto, the way the Earth connects, the Alliance helps many successful aviation companies get together. Among these companies, there are Air Canada, United Airlines and Lufthansa, Turkish Airlines, Air China, Air New Zealand. Star Alliance was founded on May 14, 1997 by five airlines. United Airlines, Lufthansa, Air Canada, Scandinavian Airlines and Thai Airways. Before we move into our next alliance, we want to remind you that Aviation File also has an Instagram account. Follow us at Aviation File to stay up to date with the latest news and updates in the aviation industry. We post interesting facts, behind the scenes photos, and much more. Don't miss out on the action. Give us a follow today. Sky Team Another one of the three main airline alliances is Sky Team. Launched on the 22nd of June 2000, the alliance now serves in more than 1,150 airports with a fleet over 3,000 aircraft. Each year, the alliance is estimated to serve over 630 million passengers from 175 countries. The founders of the alliance are Aeromexico, Air France, Delta Airlines and Korean Air. As of now, the alliance has 19 members, with their slogan, Caring More About You. The alliance is also connected to SkyTeam Cargo, which serve customers with their freight services. One World Launched on the 1st of February 1999, One World is now one of the largest airline alliances in the world. The alliance has 14 full members as well as 15 affiliates. One World serves more than 490 million passengers yearly with a fleet over 3,200 aircraft. The alliance operates in 170 countries with 1,012 airports. Their slogan is Travel Bright and the founders of the alliance are American Airlines, British Airwaves, Cathay Pacific, Qantas and Canadian Airlines which has been acquired by Air Canada. That concludes our discussion on airline alliances. We hope you found this information helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on the aviation industry. Thank you for watching.